Hello everyone, this is Reaching Nexus. I have another shotcut tutorial here based on a question I found in Reddit. This is Plague Doctor asking if it's possible to flip image panels over like this in Shotcut. He's got a little example here. It's got a last giant card flipping over. There it is. That's pretty decent. The responses that came through were maybe, I don't know, possibly somebody said that the original creator of the video uh, uses Sony Vegas Pro to edit their videos, so maybe go look there. But I want to tell you, it is absolutely possible you can recreate something similar to, if not this exact effect, in Shotcut. And I'm going to show you how. So the first thing I did is I create a Shotcut project. I've got a couple of images that I'm going to flip, a back of a card and a front of a card. I have a background track I'm going to add a second video track on top of that. There we go, V2, and I need to open other color. And I'm going to create, since we're doing playing cards, I'm going to create a nice felt green background like that. This will be our poker table. I'm going to drag that into my playlist and then onto my scene. And so there we go, we have our little poker mat there. Now I need to bring in my cards. We're gonna start with a card down, like so. It doesn't have to be long. Maybe just five seconds. Five seconds, we want it to happen quickly. Or is that five frames? I couldn't tell you right now. Let's see. We're going to drag our other card in. This is what it's gonna end up looking like. We're gonna bring that down to just five, nice and quick. There we go. And there's a filter in Shotcut. And just so you know which version I'm using, I am using 21.12.24. So if you don't see this filter, that's what you need to do. You need to upgrade to at least this version because I know it's there. Going to go back to my timeline. I'm going to select this first segment here, this little clip. I'm going to have my black and white card back here. I'm going to go to filters. I'm going to add something called corner pin. Is it corner pin? Yes, corner pin. So here we go. The corner pin deals with the four corners of the visible of the visible picture here. We got one, two, three, four starting in the top left and then going clockwise around the corners. I'm going to do this based on the percentages. You could eyeball it. I found it was easier to just do this with the percentages. First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to create a keyframe here. This is how I want it to start in full view. I'm going to drag over to the last frame. So I guess that's five frames that I was adjusting before. So this is the last beginning of the last frame. I'm going to say, move this corner to 50%. Whoa, look at that, that's crazy. Then I'm going to move the second corner to 50%. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the Y pin for that first corner, I'm gonna shift it down 5%. So it has a little bit of perspective to it. It's a make-believe perspective, but it'll, it'll help with the effect. Corner three, we're going to drag from the bottom right inward to 50%. So here we go. Change the Y coordinate to 50%. Then we're going to move the bottom corner of number four. We're going to move that on the X to 50%. And then remember, since we took corner one and moved it down 5%, we're going to move this up 5% to 95%. And then that's what generates our effect. So here you go. It's going to do a nice little flip for us like that. But we have all that black. All that black is not what we want. So down here in the blending options, the alpha operation, we're going to select minimum. And what that's going to do is it's going to let that background show through. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at how it just kind of goes down. Just a few frames, it's gonna be nice and quick. Your eye's not gonna notice the difference. Then I'm gonna go back to my timeline and then we have to do 
the red card, here it is, in reverse. So we're gonna go back, we're gonna add that corner pin filter, just like that. We've got our number two card. I'll go ahead and set the alpha operation to minimum in the beginning here. And we're going to say this is where we want it to end up. So I will drag the keyframe scrubber over to the end of my clip and I will set a keyframe there because this is how I want it to finish. I want it to look exactly like this when it's done. I will go back to the beginning now and I will move corner one back to 50% because remember we want that to look gone. I'm not going to set corner one's Y to 50% though because remember this is the inverse. So I'm actually gonna set corner two's Y to 5% like that. Corner two's X will be 50%, just like that. Remember, it was corner four that we set its Y to 95. So this time it will be corner three's Y that we set to 95. Then we'll set the X for corner three to 50, and we will set the X for corner four to 50. Oh, that was the Y, my bad. We go back to 95, and then we will set the X to 50. There we go, I almost made it through this one without a major mistake, but you know. So now we can check that animation, make sure that it looks the way that it should. We can see two is flipping around and the far side, the right side in this case, looks farther away. So that looks, that looks pretty good. So put it all together now, go back to our timeline. The card will just vanish. So I'm going to go ahead and pull down a static version of the card's result. Let's make sure that looks good. Okay, that's how we want it to finish. We're gonna go back to our black card back and hit play. Look at that, isn't that gorgeous? Let's play it in reverse and it flips. Great, let's go the other way again. Look at that, how awesome is that? Super simple, use the corner pin, not a problem. We can make that card flip view and we can do it over any background that we want with transparency in Shotcut. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it makes your day. I hope you make some amazing videos. If you could link to them down in the comments, I would love to see them. Thank you so much. Have a beautiful day.